Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fresh Baked. I'm your host, David, and I'm sitting at the Jolly Holiday Cafe. We just got into the park for a rope drop. Actually, let's take a second and enjoy a little bit of that rope drop action. For your safety, we ask that you please walk to your next destination. And we hope that today you'll make memories that will last a lifetime. So they've moved it back to the hub. Main Street was, was pretty much wide open. I have to say, I'm, I, I, I'm having mixed feelings about this right now because uh, I was really happy to see the rope drop at Main Street a few weeks ago. Very exciting, very traditional, it's the way it used to be. <clears throat> but man, man, it's intense. It's really packed, it's really intense. There's a lot of people in a small space. And uh, so when I found when I found Main Street open this morning, and I found everybody at the hub, I was kind of relieved. I was a little bit relieved. So I'm I'm, I'm having you know like a both sides moment with rope drop right now. But it was great. I, I kind of miss uh, the zippy de doo dah uh, announcement. I get why they had to take that out. I kind of miss that. I wish they could find another way because I don't think that mixed magic, the thing that they use for uh, for the rope drop now, I don't think the mixed magic works. It just doesn't strike the right. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't feel very classic or traditional to me. Anyway, so post rope drop, I headed over to, to Jolly Holiday across the way to mobile order me a little breakfast. They have expanded the breakfast a little bit, and they have added the uh, the croissant. The, there's a croissant with cheese, egg, and bacon. I I don't remember if I've had this or not. I got that with the uh, fresh fruit. There you go. There's a little fresh fruit for you. There's the egg and cheese croissant. The only downside, I do I do love an egg and cheese croissant but it gets cold fast. And I do like a hot breakfast. I was gonna get coffee at the Market House with Starbucks on Main Street, but I, 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 I poked my head in there. I'm like, you know what? Today's not the day. Not today. Today's not the day for me waiting in that Starbucks. So I got just a regular Coke because I need my caffeine. I am grateful for the expanded, well, exp such that it is. Because before, I mean, it just a cinnamon roll, which is nice. Cinnamon rolls are dessert though, in my opinion. It's not a breakfast. Blueberry muffin. Uh, double chocolate chip muffin's pretty good. Get a regular butter croissant. That's three seventy chocolate croissant, four bucks. That seems like a lot, but that's it. That's it for breakfast. Interestingly, they have the house special, the uh, Jolly Holiday combo, here on the menu, which I don't know if I'd have that for breakfast. Oh, there's a parfait. Everybody loves parfait. If they have a yogurt parfait, I may look into that next time. Because I do love a yogurt parfait for breakfast. I am still talking about breakfast. We're still a jolly holiday. Guys, let's go to Disneyland. Those squatters are open for your inspection. Please watch the deputy's exit. Remember to stay on the trust and off the rocks in. Please supervise you. I think I found my spot. I'm out here on Tom Sawyer's Island. First time I've been on the island since the parks have reopened. This is a good spot to chill. Luckily, they've left the uh, checkers table and chairs here to sit on and enjoy this little cool, chill spot for the moment. Just don't forget to stow your weapons. Now I get to relax here for a bit. With this view, fantastic view. One of my favorite things to do anywhere in the park is to look out at Rivers of America, especially when there's boat traffic. We've got both the Mark Twain uh, and the Columbia. We saw the Columbia just a minute ago when we were boarding uh, the Tom Sawyer's rafts. And 
Apparently, there's quite a kerfuffle happening inside Lafitte's Tavern in here. Uh, we've talked about this before, actually, the Lafitte's Tavern. There's a, they never really explored it any further, but they've made quite a few connections between the island uh, and, and, and really the rest of uh, New Orleans Square. Uh, we've got Lafitte's Anchor out there, uh, Lafitte's uh, Landing at, uh, at Pirates of the Caribbean. So he's kind of all over, you know, all over this, this area. It does look like the uh, Will Turner blacksmithery isn't fully operational. That water wheel is not operating. There should be water in here. Making that wheel go, which makes the blacksmithery happen. So no custom made swords for anybody anytime soon. Shall we go to the treehouse? Of course, when I say treehouse, I mean we can look at it. Can't go up it. I'm not sure if you ever could. Did it look like that before with the long johns behind it and the overalls and the American flag? Was that always dressed like that? There used to be water running through the tree too, right through there, which there isn't. And then it would flow down here, down that way towards the bottom. I wonder if it's completely empty down there too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you don't hear or see any of the folks doing their things that you normally do down there. There's the treehouse up there. This is kind of bumming me out right now. I love Tom Sawyer's Island for a lot of reasons, but this was one of the main ones. It was so beautiful and it sounded great too. I guess you could still do that, the pump. So that's the thing. And of course, we can still do the bridge, but don't rock or sway. Mind your manners, be a good pirate. But it feels kind of desolate. Yeah, that still works. That's still a thing, it's the sound. That's what it is, it's just the lack of the sound of running water makes it a little less alive. I feel much better now. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I've ever even done that before, but I feel much, much better now. The lower decks will be closed when we enter port. Those of you remaining on deck, keep a close eye on the riverbanks. And there's old Fort Wilderness. You used to actually be able to go in there. You used to be able to go up into those turrets. Go in there and pretend like you're protecting a fort it was pretty amazing it I miss it so much that, you know I, I've forgotten about it completely as a kid I don't even know if I went in there much but when we went to Disneyland Paris that was one of, that was like close to number one on my list of things to do because they have something like this as you enter their um, uh, uh, frontier land I wonder if there's any old video if you've got old video of Fort Wilderness let me know. Send me an email, david at freshbakedizzy.com. For that matter, if you've got anything, any kind of old footage, I'm, I'm thinking about setting up a, you know, a Dropbox or an FTP or something like that for folks to send me any kind of video, but I would love to see some old footage of Fort Wilderness.
Well, that was just what the doctor ordered. That really chilled me out. I'm perfectly smooth now, ready for more Disneyland. I have to say, though, that Tom Sawyer's Island was kind of a ghost town. There was maybe, I mean, not even a dozen people on that island, it felt like. I ran into somebody occasionally. There's three people on that raft right now. I don't know, man. People aren't going to Tom Sawyer's Island. But before we get started on the rest of this day, which I don't have no idea what's happening today, <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm just in limbo, waiting for the rest of the Jungle Cruise stuff to happen. Uh, so I don't even know what kind of vloggy stuff we're gonna get to do. But I was hungry, and I was looking through, and nothing was really, like, triggering me. Nothing was saying, yeah, David, get that. It's, it's time to do that again. You know, it all sounded kind of hot, and I don't know, I thought about going to Doc Ondar's, or I'm sorry, Docking Bay 7, but they have just the pot roast and the fried chicken. Not on a day like today. And then I remembered I went to Jolly Holiday. And I remembered my favorite thing to eat at the Jolly Holiday. No, it is not the grilled cheese sandwich with the tomato basil soup. That is good, but it's not my favorite thing. And they they do have the ciabatta sandwiches, but right now they only got turkey and the roast beef. I prefer something like pastrami or corned beef. My favorite thing to eat is the Jolly Holiday Salad. Love the Jolly Holiday Salad. It is the salad that introduced me to all kinds of things. A lot of things that I've eaten at Disneyland are the first time that I've ever eaten that thing. Uh, I never really had candied walnuts or a, yeah, in a salad. I never really had feta cheese in a salad. I never really had cranberries in a salad. And this salad has all of those things. And I love every bit of it. So I'm going to take, oh, and I was never much of a raspberry vinaigrette guy either. But I said, I'm gonna try this. Now, not everything that I try at Disneyland turns out to be a winner. Not everything that I get is like, oh my gosh, that's the best. I tried for the first time right here at Jolly Holiday. They had a salad with grilled vegetables in it. And I remember being super excited about trying that. It was awful. It was so terrible. But still, lots of lots of firsts for me at Disneyland. Uh, the shrimp and grits. I love shrimp and grits. The bond me. I had my first ever bond me at a food and wine festival, which now they have it at the Lucky Fortune Cookery, which you know, it's funny, today is the kind of day where I was this close to jumping over to uh, DCA because I just wasn't feeling it. Well, okay, uh, Tom Sawyer's was great. I, I, don't like, I don't want to do any, any rides right now. And it has to do with more of the Jungle Cruise thing. But I'm afraid to get into stuff right now. Well, I don't know, we'll see. But DCA seemed like a good idea because they have a lot of good food there that I like to eat. By the way, ragtime piano. Can't beat that. Whoever thought of candy walnuts? They need to put that guy in a Hall of Fame somewhere. I don't know what Hall of Fame he belongs in or she belongs in. But whoever invented the candy walnut is a hero. Fantastic. This salad is fantastic. Feed the birds. Love people that love their jobs. Be the kind of person that loves their job. Do the kind of job that makes you love your job, even if it doesn't pay as well. Your happiness is worth so much more than that. I wasn't rolling when he first started talking, but he was saying that <laughs> it's funny, he flipped it on us. He said he, 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 it makes him happy to watch us have a good time. Meanwhile, I'm saying I'd like to watch him because he's, he's enjoying his job. It's funny how that works. Angry people out there. It's funny how that works. <laughs> if you are happy, it shows and it gets reciprocated back to you. Giving action gets you action. We give him, or he gives us the good energy, the good kindness. We give it back to him, and he gives it back to us again and again. And that's how it works. Be kind. Have a positive energy about yourself. You don't have to be mad all the time. Man, it has been a minute since I've had that Jolly Holiday salad at the Jolly Holiday. Now i got to remember <laughs> to eat there more often. It was fantastic. It was so good. The vibe was perfect. 
the accompaniment with the ragtime piano was perfect. I'm so grateful. I'm so glad we got to go to rag or to uh, Jolly Holiday. Now, next order of business is to head into Adventureland to see what's going on there, getting ready for uh, the Jungle Cruise premiere. Well, guys, just before we start getting ready for the premiere, we got enough time for It's a Small World 20 minute walk on, it looks like. Chugger Cruise premiere stuff, and uh, hopefully you watched that video already. And now I am trying to recover from my, that experience here at the Jolly Holiday. I'm going three for three, guys. We did Jolly Holiday three for three. Uh, that's that's a whole that's a whole video in itself, right? <laughs> Eating at Jolly Holiday all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Today we got the combo. We mentioned that before. I got the combo. This is the tomato basil soup, which you can barely see, and. go. Grilled cheese sandwich with tomato basil, which I'm a dunker. I don't know about you. I have to say, I've really enjoyed my jolly holiday day. That, that lunch, the salad was great. I mean, I, this is a Disneyland moment right here. Jolly holiday at dusk, the lights are coming on, the popcorn lights are here. I got myself a hot grilled cheese sandwich and some hot soup. It's the perfect prelude to finishing this visit to Disneyland today. And I've got my second wind, which is good, so we'll be able to knock out a little bit of stuff here before we go home. It is 8-11. 8-11, park closes in less than two hours. What can I get done after I finish my dinner? Stay tuned, we'll be back. Yep, we're gonna close the night out in Fantasyland, I think. I'm in the mood for some dark rides. I'm in the mood for some really vintage Disneyland. It won't be Peter Pan though. Uh, even though it's like 8.30 now, we're approaching closing time and they're not doing a, they're not doing a full fireworks show tonight. Well, full for Mixed Magic. 
because of the uh, Jungle Cruise premiere, they're not doing any fireworks because they're noisy and they would interrupt the movie. That is, they're actually watching the movie right now as we speak. Uh, so there's no fireworks tonight, but they're still gonna do the Mixed Magic show, the projections on the castle. Uh, so it'll be just kind of just music and, and, and projections tonight. But a trip to Toad Hall is definitely in order this evening. It's only been a couple weeks, so I, I do. Welcome to Toad Hall. I love Toad, uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, but I tell you what, every time I go on that ride, I, I'm like, if they ever try to take this thing from me, I'm gonna hold my own personal ride. I would chain myself to that building right there. I would chain myself so that they can't take that thing away. I don't care how old or broken it is. Don't you ever take Mr. Toad's Wild Ride away from us. Well, I was hoping to catch a night run on Casey Jr., but I, I forgot uh, they closed it at eight o'clock tonight, even though it's, oh, Casey. I don't, you don't have to play the music or anything. They had to close this because of the uh, dra or dra <laughs> Jungle Cruise movie premiere. Uh, Fantasyland Theater is like uh, right on the other side of this hill, backstage, and then uh, Fantasyland Theater is right over there. So yeah, no, no Casey Jr. tonight, even though he gets to run. Well, there's Casey right there. He's going slow. We, we left the station. He was still on his way. Can we get some focus here? Well, he's really going slow. But now that we're here, I can see that Storybook Land is still running. Question mark, should we go for it? Nope, on second thought, I think I'm gonna save this for my next visit with Liz, at least with Liz, maybe even with Liz and Sophia. I really would love to be able to put Sophia up in the Whale Watcher spot. Oh, she looks so happy, the little Snow White. I love Storybook Land. And okay, so Casey is now going in reverse. <laughs> Casey's not feeling well. Obviously, they're prepping Casey for putting him backstage, but that was interesting just now seeing him go in reverse. Oh, there he goes again. I think you can, I think you can, Casey. I believe in you. I think I'm beginning to get the feeling that there's there's something about being at Disneyland at night that brings out the Disneyland nerd in me. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. I, I get more whimsical when I'm here at night. I don't know if you noticed. Um, Casey's going backwards again. <laughs> this is quite fun to chronicle. I'm gonna just keep walking by here right now and then to see what Casey's status is. There it is. That's our next victim. 10 minutes for Dumbo. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> All right, Dumbo. This, look at this little one. I ran to this family uh, in the queue, they're bumpins. They've been here for nine days. Here we go. Oh! We're going to... I want to see Fantasyland. All of its splendor. I guess I could say that about every land that I go to. The slump is Wow, look at 
That's just the best right there. That shot. Give me that shot all day. Here we go. Let's do it again. Uh, oh, it's perfect. We're going to yell at me for turning around, but I don't care. I'm a rebel. I'm actually not a rebel. Quite compliant. I hardly ever go to the speed limit. Beautiful. Oh. That's it. Well, I guess one in Rome, right? Might as well finish out Fantasyland a little more. Get a little daring with Pinocchio. Interesting observation as I make my way out of Disneyland. Uh, we walk through the hub, the castle, uh, in front of the castle and everything. People are still waiting. It's, it's 9.30, so the, the mixed magic is about to start. There were, there were far more people here on Main Street than there were at the castle because now, if you're not doing fireworks, the show is Main Street and the projections on the buildings. Interesting change of you know, the dynamics, how that changes. You put fireworks in there and everybody wants to be in front of the castle. But now that it's just the projections, everybody's here, hey guys, on uh, Main Street. And I don't blame them. This is the place to see the, the projections. If, if, you know, depending on where you stand, that's all you can see. And that's it for us from Disneyland tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the shows. I think we got two shows out of this, I'm not sure. We got the, the Jungle Cruise premiere, which was exciting, which we saw already. And then uh, just normal vlogging from Disneyland, man. I had a great time, especially this nighttime run post Jungle Cruise premiere. Well, I was kind of worn out leading up to that, but man, evenings at Disneyland sure do pick me up. Uh, and I had a great time tonight closing out the park with you guys. It's almost 10 o'clock, like I said, uh, so we're heading out just on time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram. So they got off to a late start. <laughs> but anyway, follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked and on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you enjoy our show and want to uh, show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. And until next time, we love you guys very much. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh Baked.